Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to factory reset your Honeywell T3 and the T3R. So for whatever reason you might want to factory reset your unit, maybe you just moved into a property and all the settings are a bit weird, or maybe you've been playing around with it and as you messed up all the settings and you just want to go back to the beginning again, then of course factory resetting your unit will do that. I've got to say factory resetting the T3 and the T3R is pretty straightforward. But there is a but. If you have the T3 and that unit will always be in a wall because it has to be wired in. Now if you've got that unit, when you do the factory reset, then you're good to go. And you can straight away reprogram it and you'll be able to turn your heating on and off. If you have the T3R, like this one, and you know if you've got the wireless version, because you'll have the wireless symbol up in this top right hand corner here. And you may even have this unit on the wall, so always check to make sure if you've got that little wireless symbol in that top corner. Because once you factory reset a T3R, you'll no longer be able to turn your heating on and off because it will no longer talk to receive unit. So this is the receiver unit for the Honeywell T3R and this will be somewhere near the boiler. And of course this unit talks to this one and once you factory reset them, they will no longer talk to each other. So that's why we need to rebind them back together. Like I said, you'll find this somewhere near your boiler. So you need to find this because we do need to have both the units to bind them back together. And of course, in this video, I'm going to show you how to factory reset it and of course, rebind them back together. So you'll be all good to go. And I suggest you watch the video all the way through before you go resetting your Honeywell T3R. Because like I said, once you factory reset it, you'll no longer be able to turn your heating on and off with your programmer. If you want to change your 24 hour clock to a 12 hour clock, at the end of the video, I'll show you how you can easily do that. Right, just before I get on and show you how to factory reset it, I want to let you know that I made lots of other videos all about the Honeywell T3 and the T3R. So there's my video on how to use, program and install this unit. And in that video, I go into great detail on everything you should need to know about this programmer. There's also my video on the easiest way to turn your heating on and off with this programmer in case you don't want to use any of the programming, which a lot of my homeowners, they just don't want to do that. They just want to be able to turn their heating on and off. Of course, there's also the Honeywell fault where when you touch any of the controls, the screen suddenly goes blank and you go back to the start menu again. If you've got that problem, then of course I made a video on how to fix that fault. I also made a separate video on how to rebind the Honeywell T3R. You'll find all those videos in the description below. Right, now let's get on with showing you how to reset these units. So here's our Honeywell T3R, and it doesn't matter whether you've got the T3, which is the hardwired version, the factory reset is still exactly the same. Now, like I said in the intro, it doesn't matter why you want to reset the unit. Maybe they're just the settings are all messed up and you just want to make sure you've got a clean state and you're starting from the beginning. So I've got my program out just here and also the receiver units. And I just want to show you that they are both connected together. So when I turn the heating on, you'll see the receiver unit come on. And when I turn the heating off, you'll see the receiver unit go off. So let's just show you that now. So if I turn the heating on, you'll see the relay light clicks on. So you see that little green light on there. And when I turn the central heating off, the light on the relay box goes out. So we know that the central heating has now turned off. So we know that both these units are quite happily talking to each other. Now, once I've done the factory reset, the units will no longer be connected together. So you won't be able to turn your heating on or off until we have rebound both the units back together again. Of course, I'm going to show you how to do that after we have factory reset this unit. If you have the T3, turning the heating on and off should just turn your boiler on and off. Now, all we need to do to do a factory reset is we need to press this button here and press this button here together for three seconds. So let's push these two together. One, two, three. And there we are. Now we've gone through to this menu here and this is our parameters menu. If you still have the instruction book, if you look down the page to number 16, we can then see this is how we reset or factory reset the unit. So here's the one we're looking for, 16 FS factory reset. Now that's what we want to do. We want to factory reset it. So let's take a look at that. So here we are, we're flashing on number one. So we need to change that from number one to a number 16 FS. 
So we now press the plus button and scroll down until we get to 16 FS. Six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 16 FS. We then need to press the button directly underneath the tick so we can change that parameter. So we can see it's flashing zero here. Now we need to change the zero to a one by pressing the plus button. After we've pressed the plus button and we changed it to a one, we then need to press the tick again to apply that new setting. And then your screen is gonna go blank for a couple of seconds, and then it's gonna go back to its standard startup screen. And that's it, our T3 or T3R is now factory reset. If you've got the T3, all you need to do now is just run through this startup menu, set in the day, the month and the year, and also the time, and then you're good to go. If you have the T3R, the wireless version, we'll now need to rebind both the Unix back together. So you can turn your heating on and off. So now you can see I'm just finally putting in the last setting, which is the day. So it's the 20th today, and then I just got to set the time. So I'm going to set that to 7.42. So there we are, 7, press tick, and then finally the minutes, set that down to 42, and there we go. That's our time set, and now it's going to say saving. I want to click this button. There we are, save, and now we're all set. We can now program our programmer, and everything is back to its factory settings. So if you have the T3, you're now good to go. But if you have the T3R like this one, you can see now when I put this central heating on, the relay box doesn't click on. You can see it's not coming on. And you won't be able to turn your central heating on and off until we've rebound both the units together. And you can also see there is no wireless symbol up in this top right hand corner. It should have this little symbol looking like this. And after a while, we're gonna get a warning triangle come up in the display just here, warning us that we have lost our connection with our receiver unit. Before I show you how to rebind the unit, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Mark Ballard and I've been a gas registered engineer for nearly 30 years. The aim of my channel is to help you with your central heating and your plumbing. If you find this video at all useful, then please give me that little bit of feedback by clicking on that thumbs up or the subscribe. You can ring on the bell if you want to receive a notification. And of course, you can share the video with your friends. If you visit my website, I have categorized all my videos and products and parts that I recommend so you can easily find what you're looking for. And I'd like to say a really big thank you to everybody who's bought me a cup of coffee and left me a donation in my toolbox fund. It's really appreciated and it does really help me to make more videos which will hopefully help you. So now we need to bind these two units back together or pair them together. So the programmer can then turn the heating on and off. So the first thing that we need to do is to clear all the old binding settings from the receive unit. So this is fairly straightforward. All we need to do is to get ourselves an old paper clip like this, just fold it over and then push it down inside this hole here. Now this is a little button and we just need to push it down inside there for three seconds. Then we should see an amber light blink on the button and a red light blink at the top. Now at the moment, there's a green power light showing at the top there. It's not very clear, but it is green. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna push that button down for three seconds. One, two, three. And there we go, we saw both the lights blink. Now the receiver unit has been cleared of all the old binding settings. Now we need to put the receiver unit into binding mode so we can join the two units back together. So to put the receiver into binding mode, all we need to do is press and hold this button here for four seconds. And then we see the light at the top start flashing amber. And there we go. So it's now waiting for a signal to come from the programmer so the two units were joined back together. Now I just wanted to point out this light here is flashing amber, so it's not red and it's not green, but the lights in here are just making it look a little red. So it is definitely flashing amber, so we know we are in binding mode. So the next thing that we need to do is to clear all the old binding settings from our programmer. Now to do that, it's fairly straightforward. We just press this button here and the minus button at the same time. So we press them together, now, just to point out, you do need to have the display lit up. So you can see I pushed both the buttons, but nothing happened. The display just lit up. So we need to light the display up first of all, then we can press both the buttons. There we are, pressing both the buttons. One, two, three, and there we go, 14A, and that is our binding mode. 
Now, if you do not see 14A in the display, then you should press the back arrow and go back again and then repress the buttons again and make sure that you got 14A in the display. So now we need to change the 14A to 14C. And to do this, we press the plus button until we see 14C. And there we go, 14C is now in the display. We now need to change this parameter here. So we need to press this button here until the zero starts flashing. And now we need to press the plus button, change that to a one. We then press the tick to save that setting. And there we are, it says save. And now all the binary settings have now been removed from the programmer. So now this one is now ready to be rebound to this unit here. So all we need to do again is just press a button to light the display up like that, displays lit up. Now you may have seen this unit here has now just stopped flashing. That's because I've been taking my time over setting this unit. So if you do see that, all we need to do is to put this back into binary mode. And all we do again, is just hold this button here, three seconds, one, two, three. And there we go, you can see it's flashing amber now. Again, you can't see that very clearly, but it is actually flashing amber. It definitely looks like it's red, but it is actually amber. Right, so now we just need to light this display up again. So press the button here, that's lit the display up. We can now press this button here, this one here again, the minus button, press one, two, three. And that's it, now we're in 14A. Now 14A is the one that we want. So now we're gonna press tick again, like that. Now we just need to change this to a one. So, so press the plus, it's a one. We then press tick to set that setting and then we should see it then bind to this unit here. Let's press the tick button. And there we go. And there we go, look, it's just gone solid now. We now got a solid green light here. Now hopefully you can see that is green, yeah, that's nice and green there. And they've joined back together again. And that's it, it is joined back together. Let's go back again by pressing this button here. We can just test that now by putting our heating on. So let's turn it on, let's put our temperature up. Let's put it up to, let's just put it right up there. We are. Make sure it does come on. 26 degrees, heating on. And there we go, receiver unit on. Okay, and we can just turn it off again. And there we go. And that's it, that's how you bind them back together. And that is how you do the factory reset on this unit. Okay, pretty straightforward, but you will need to rebind it. So you've got to do the two things together. Now, I hope that that helped you out if you want to reset your units. Obviously, now you've seen how to go into parameters. There are lots of other useful things you can do within these parameters. For instance, you can change the clock from being a 24 hour clock to a 12 hour clock. You might want to do that. Um, and I'll show you how to do that briefly now. So we can easily just do this by just pressing the button here, light up the menu again, do exactly the same, go into our parameters, hold those buttons down for three seconds. We then wanna scroll down to 11CL. There we go, 11CL. Then we just press tick to adjust that parameter, press the plus to change it to a one, and then we press the tick again, and that's it. We then go back again, and then we can now see that the display has now changed to a 12 hour clock, as simple as that. Now, like I said, at the start of the video, I've made lots of other videos all about this programmer, how to use, how to program, and even how to install it. And the problem where the screen keeps going back to its startup menu. And you can check all those out in the description below. Right, so that's about it then. So if you wanna watch any of my videos on the Honeywell T3 and the T3R, then I've left a link just here to a playlist where you can watch all those videos. You can always click on the link above here if you want to find out about 10 ways to reduce your gas bill. And of course, you can click on subscribe, ring on the bell, give me a thumbs up, and it's always my toolbox fund. Bye for now, and I'll see you next time.